Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Uh, this week I'm coming to you a little bit late with your weekly oracle card reading. However, uh, here it is and we're, we're going to be using Doreen Virtue's uh, cards here. So uh, it's what I call the bubblegum uh, oracle uh, decks and uh, no offense, but we're going to be using uh, the magical unicorns, which is your deck one. And we're going to be using the romance angels, uh, which is... Uh, deck number two and we're going to be using the angel answers which is deck number three so you can choose between um the unicorn magical unicorns which is deck one the romance angels which is um deck two and the angel answers which is deck three and basically i'm going to um give you um some kind of insight as to what you need to hear for this week by using uh, one of these cards as an inspiration. So please go ahead and make your selection and you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp for the beginning of your reading. And I'm going to go right ahead and begin with the magical oracle cards. Um, sorry, the magical unicorn cards here. So I'm going to give them a bit of a shuffle. I have shuffled them already. And we ask him, what is it that you need to know for this week? What is it that you need to hear right now? And uh, this card's speaking to me. So, so we, we have a card here that says, finish what you've started. And um, the um, caption here reads as follows. You've started something important and now it's time to complete it. So basically... Um, the way in which I read this card here, well, it's pretty, the reason I call these the bubble cum decks is because they basically tell you everything that you need to hear, right? Um, and in most cases, they are quite general. In, and so in most cases, they apply in some area of your life. And so basically what it does say is finish what you've started. And um, what is it? So I'm going to say to you, well, what is it that you have? not finished or what is it that's been irking you to finish what is it that you need to do still that if you do it you will have the most amount of freedom uh in your life at this moment what is it that when you finished it it will be a huge burden that will be lifted from your shoulders and that will allow you to end a particular cycle in your life and and begin a new cycle in your life and uh, i'm just going to study this card a little bit to see uh what other meanings come through here Um, so basically, one of the things I'm hearing here is that you need to take a moment to basically be free, allow yourself to be free, to remove the restrictions that you have in your life. There may be something that's blocking you from actually going ahead and um, making your dream come true. And uh, yeah, so what is it that's what's that's stopping you? What's in your way of finishing what you've started? You know, that's where you need to look at right now. There's something that's in your way. Um, that's not actually allowing you to finish what you started. Otherwise, you would just go ahead and do it. And what I'm hearing is that you need to have the courage to stand up to that blockage. You need to have the courage to move that obstacle aside and actually do it. And I'm hearing that in many of your cases, this has to do with a, a, a very uh, general aspect of your life. So maybe it has to do with uh, something that will change your life completely. For some of you, it has to do with work. And uh, for very few of you, this has to do with love, a love situation. So it's about finish, finish what you've started. For those of you who are looking, who are looking here and asking for an, uh, some advice regarding a love situation, you actually need to finish that conversation that you've begun. You need to actually uh, call that person again and, and do that, you know, finish that conversation. That's what's important here. Finish what you've started here, okay? And it's not asking you to end something. It's not asking you to end the relationship as such. It's asking you to simply um, get the conversation going once again. The other thing I'm hearing here is that you actually are, you have an innocence about you. You have a sense about you which is uh, a bit naive in a sense, and uh, you you hold a th with you within you a pristine energy, a pristine uh, sense of of self, and it's 
important to allow that to come into full blossom. It's important to allow that to come to its natural completion in order for you to begin a new cycle. Um, and so al allow that nature of yours to change, allow for it to grow, allow for yourself to um, move from being a child into ad adolescence, allow for, me for yourself to move from adolescence to being an adult. And uh, what I'm hearing here is those age groups may not apply to you, but where is it in your emotional capacity? Are you still a child? Where is it that you still need to develop a little bit more? Where is it that if you take a particular action, it will ensure that you grow and you change that about yourself so you're not so naive about the situation anymore or you don't hold that innocence anymore? Where is it that uh, that is going to change when you take the action that you need to change? And... Um, recognize that and, and allow it to, to take place. So I think that's about it. And that's what I'm hearing for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, which was your uh, unicorn angels. I think it's called that. It's called your magical unicorns. Okay. And uh, that deck belongs to my daughter, by the way. Um, so we're moving on to the uh, romance angels. Now, I just want to say that um, these cards are often used for love reading, but I'm not going to just uh, um, use it here for love. I'm going to also talk about the meaning here as far as other parts of your life. So for those of you who've chosen this one here, we be asking the question, uh, what is it that you need to know for this week? For those who have chosen the deck number two, what is it that they need to hear for this week? And this is what I'm getting here. Mm, okay, so that's quite a poignant message, isn't it? It says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. So I think that this is a card that's quite a necessary card for the moment, because I think the energy that we are feeling and we're experiencing right now, and even if you uh, come to these um, to this reading like a lot later, even if you have not, you're not watching it when it's um, recorded and when it's being uploaded, um, it's still relevant to you, okay? And But right now, what the energy is, is saying is that where is it that we are not loving ourselves? Where is it that we love ourselves not enough as yet to be able to manifest our dreams, to be able to reach the, the um I'm hearing the, the circumference, the end of the, the circumference. I don't know what that means, but um, where is it that we where, where is it that we're able to reach our horizon uh, in terms of ourselves? Where is it that we are not allowing ourselves to do that? And what does self-love have to do with that? Where is it that we need to love ourselves a little bit more? And um, I feel like this is has so much to do with people who are waiting for somebody to call them or somebody who's in love with somebody who's just not infatuated with them but kind of believes that they will come back to you and um, you're kind of deluding yourself in the process. It's it's actually, you, you're not loving yourself enough to let yourself grow and to be, you're simply pouring your love and um, into an altar for another person and the message I'm getting here for those of you who are doing that and who that resonates with is please give that up. Please focus on yourself first. Please love yourself first. OK, you cannot be loved by another unless you love yourself. You can never be truly loved by another unless you love yourself, because even if another loves you unconditionally and with all their heart and soul and being, if you do not love yourself, if you do not take the time to appreciate yourself and respect yourself, you can't actually appreciate the love that's coming your way. You won't fully be able to absorb the love that's coming your way. The other thing I'm hearing here is that um, for those of you where it's not about love relationship, um, I mean, if for some of you, I don't know who this is for, but for some of you, if you if you come to this reading and you're asking about a job or a, a raise and a salary, etc., the the answer for you is that when you love yourself and you appreciate yourself a little bit more, and you recognize what you're offering in this capacity uh, and what your capacity really is, what your abilities are, what your skills are, then you will be able to attract that higher sum of money your way. And so that's a very specific. Um, 
uh, meaning here. But that uh, there is, I think, two or three people that will come to this reading and be asking about a job situation and uh, be asking about uh, higher earnings or whether they will be compensated well enough. And the question is, uh, I mean, the answer, I mean, is, is that, yes, you will be and you can be. But in order to do that, you need to respect yourself a little bit more. You need to be able to love yourself a little bit more. And that is actually what is necessary right now. And le let all else go to waste, it says. And that's what I'm hearing. It says, uh, well, basically, like, nothing else is really as important right now as loving yourself. Nothing else is as necessary right now as loving yourself. Give yourself the love that you need. And if you don't know how to love yourself, then find out how. You know, most people don't know how to love themselves, perhaps because they haven't been loved in that capacity, perhaps because they haven't felt that love in their childhood, or they haven't had anyone love them in that way. And they have the capacity within them to love, but they haven't, they haven't had an opportunity to give themselves that love. So make it your homework to go about learning how to love yourself. Make it a task of yours. Make it a way in which you can move about your life in the future. And I want to say that you have angelic help here. You know, you have these sherbs here, you know, who are supporting you. And they are here because they want to help you love yourself. They recognize your value and they recognize what it is that you need to do for you so that you can actually be a better person to yourself, yeah, not to anyone else. Um, I'm hearing here that the people who've chosen this card are really working on loving themselves more and uh, for some of you you really need to do a lot more than you've been doing until now to love yourself so I I really want to say once again this is your homework love yourself learn how to love yourself if you don't know it google you know google speak to a life counselor speak to um, some kind of uh, life coach or speak to uh, a, a psychic perhaps or speak to somebody speak to somebody who as a potential mentor speak to somebody who will help you see the best in yourself where is it that you you know you do not see the best in yourself and i'll give you a little exercise to do so i would like you to um for those of you who are inclined to do this of course you don't have to um if i would like you to write down um make a list of your pros what is what are your pros and what are your cons you know what are your advantages and what are the disadvantages that you have in your life and not just like who are you you know what do you think is good about you what do you think is negative about you and then i think i would like you to to come to nourish that part of you that is wonderful and good and what you think is good and uh heal that part of you which is requiring um, a bit of assistance or heal that, that perspective that you have of yourself, which is that that is negative. You know, we are all are made up of good and bad and we all have an aspect of us that needs to be healed. And uh, none of us are whole, so to say. None of us are perfect. And that is just an aspiration. And as you aspire to that, as you aspire to being a whole, you'll always find that there is an aspect of you to be healed, that there's an aspect of you that can be improved. And so we're not looking for perfection here. What we are looking for is the ability to respect oneself and to cherish oneself and to nurture oneself and simply to love ourselves so much. Yeah, love ourselves so much more than the love that we receive from another. Okay, so um, that is your message for those of you who've chosen this card here. Um, yeah, that's your message for those of you who've chosen the second deck here. And we are now moving on to the third deck, which is your, um, what is it called again? It's called the Angel Answers. Okay, so um, that's what it looks like. I'm sure some of you are familiar with these cards. I don't use them very much myself, I must be honest, uh, but I do like some of the imagery on it, uh, not all the imagery. Uh, so we're just asking here, um, uh, well, I first just want to give thanks to Doreen Virtue for creating these cards, and I know that she's on a different path right now, but I just want to give thanks to her for creating uh, these cards and for creating a pathway for those of 
you who are inclined towards these cards. Uh, those of us who are inclined towards these cards. So the question we're asking here from those of you who've chosen the third deck is, what is it that you need to hear this week? What is it that you need to hear this week? What is it that you need to hear right now? Okay. Okay, so it's a very clear message and it says don't stop. Okay, so for those of you who's, who've lost your stamina in the last uh, weeks, for those of you who've not been as strong as you've been before, as uh, for those of you who are feeling like you're tiring out, uh, recognize that the energy as it stands right now, or where you're at right now, is requiring you to breathe. It's requiring you to take a moment, but do not stop. Yeah, you don't need to stop. And this is not a time to stop. But if you need the mo a moment to rest, if you need a moment to take a step back in order to be able to go forth with more strength, with more clarity, with more vitality, then it is important for you to uh, actually take that moment. So you may be telling yourself, no, I cannot stop and I need to go on, but I can't actually at this moment. Or you may be telling yourself that um, I actually don't know if I want to go on with this, or I don't know if I'm on the right path. Or I don't know if I should go through with this. Uh, or if I, d I don't know whether I should actually follow through on what I promised. And the, the answer here for you is very clear. Just go ahead with what you've planned and do not stop. Take the assistance that you need from those around you and basically try to move ahead with that support and with that assistance. You don't need to stop right now. And the other thing I'm hearing here is that this isn't, isn't just about you alone on your path. You have the support that you need and you just need to ask for it. You just need to take the support that you need from those around you. And there are many who are willing to help you with this. Um, for some of you, you've come here asking about a relationship. And I want to say that... Um, no, now is not the time to stop, but now is the time to reevaluate where you come to, where is it that you've come to, and how long has it taken you to come to this point, and measure your milestones, and look at the value of those milestones in that relationship, and ask yourself if this is really what you want in your life. And this is not to say that you need to stop. This is not to say that you need to end this. This is not to say that this is not uh, a part of your life. But you need to ask yourself whether you there's a direction that you need to change, whether there's a slight adjustment to the direction that you need to change uh, that you on the direction that you you are on right now, because it might be that you need to not stop, but it might be that your focus needs to change, or your way ahead needs to change, your the way in which you you proceed needs to change. And um, I'm just getting this message and it's not making a lot of sense to me, I must be honest, but um, I think that uh, this is something that you need to hear here. And this is why I'm guided to say this to you. Uh, the other thing I'm being told about this is that you know what is the right path. Okay, you know what it is that you need to be doing and you know that you need to be following a path that is in alignment with your highest good or your highest self and you know that this is the way ahead and um, there's nothing that's going to stop you really okay but just remember remember to do things uh, from a point of view of healing and of uh, with the divine support um, from integrity um, you don't you do not need to stop you you may need to you adjust your speed you may need to adjust your your pace uh, at which you are heading uh, going ahead and you may need to adjust the path ahead but this is not the time to stop and it is certainly not the time to give up and it it does not require you the challenges that you're that are sitting in in front of you right now do not require you to actually give up um, it doesn't require you to stop it requires you to simply take another look at it and redevise a strategy for yourself to move ahead OK, so um, that message doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And I hope it does make a sense to you. Um, 
it's just a lot of uh, snippets and uh, tidbits coming your way um, about about it and I hope that it resonates with you for those of you who've chosen this one and I just want to say thank you for coming by and um, for those of you who are regular uh, on my channel and my subscribers I apologize for not uploading videos more frequently in the last while I've just needed to take a break uh, to recharge and also to uh, really feel where the energies are at and I'm just going to mention this year um, that um, yeah I, with the eclipse energy around uh, when I'm recording this I just don't always feel that it's the right time to deliver readings or to uh, make do predictive work it's more time of healing work and hence I've been very involved with that at this moment and so I've not just come on and made videos for the YouTube channel. In fact, I have created some videos uh, before, but I haven't gotten around to editing it. So apologies for all the delays and uh, I will come back to you soon. And I'm wishing you all the blessings in the world. May you be protected and guided through the weeks ahead and um, blessings abound.